I don't know if you guys are like me, but I've always been curious on if the cheap Amazon welders actually weld and if they have the output that they say they do. So I ended up getting a Wii tool. I'm assuming that's how you say it. Either way, it's a dual voltage, 160 amp output, uh, MMA welder, manual arc weld, no, manual meld manual metal arc welding. Usually people just call it a stick welder or arc welder. Either way, this thing has got a couple features off the bat that I think uh, are pretty good. Like for example, it's got a 220 plug so we can kick up the uh, amperage or power. It does have a pretty nice heavy duty stinger. Uh, that thing's got a good uh, a spring to it. So I think that'll be good. And a braided copper uh, ground clamp. They did throw in a little wire brush and hammer. And I left that little face shield in the box just because I'm not gonna use them, I never do. Just go get an auto darkening helmet. And I kept it in there because online it actually doesn't say it comes with that. So I don't know if they're recently changing and adding that or if they're gonna be taking it out and not including it. Probably taking it out because they're kind of worthless. Either way, um, you do have some instructions, which really, yeah, you got the warnings and stuff, but I was hoping there was gonna be a guide in here and there's not. So there's really, um, yeah, this thing's like seven or eight pounds. So um, there's no guide on uh, on amperage for thickness. So we're gonna be going, uh, so we're gonna have to be testing that out. You do have the on off on the back and really well, the great thing about arc welders is you've only got one knob. So this guy goes from eight, which I don't think you'll ever go down that low just because that'd have to be a really thin rod and I, I don't know if you could do that. Uh, and it goes up to 161. Hey, look at that. We get one extra amp. That's it. So this is uh, just the 110. But like I said, my 220 plugs a little further. So I'm going to actually, when we're welding, I'm going to have to put this over on the bench and plug it in over there because it is only a six foot cord length. Two minutes down and we're like already unboxed and ready to weld. Right here, I've got some 3 32nd inch 7013 rods throwing it down on some 3 16th inch material. And man, that's a whole tongue twister in itself. And since it did that no problem, I kicked it up to some quarter inch material using those same rods. Lastly, I grabbed some channel and I switched over to 16th inch 6011 rods. Alright, man, this thing packs a punch. Seriously, holy cow. I actually had to keep turning it down. I was running on the 220 power. Uh, this lovely bead right there, that was a 332nd a 7013 rod. And um, I had the amperage at about 110 or 110, 110 or about 105. I, I was kind of going back and forth a little bit. Uh, I, I did do a test piece before, but dang, that thing made a, a pretty nice weld. And this guy, I was just, as you can see, laying down a lot of beads, just practicing, messing with the settings. Um, this was 16th inch, uh, 6011 rod. I ranged from about 45 to 75. And uh, I mean, as you can tell, I mean, some, some decent welds. This is probably gonna be my favorite portable welder now. Uh, it's super easy to just, I mean, Eight, seven or eight pounds is all it is. So it'll be really easy to take out to the, you know, out to the shed or do to the trailer stuff, fence stuff, um, haul off to the neighbors. The dual voltage 220 or 110 makes it really easy. You can kick it up to some, some really thick material if needed, or you can, you know, if you've only got 110, works on that as well. Now it's not quite an out of the box welding machine because you do need to pick up rods, but other than that, it's it really is a great machine. Check them out, We Tools on Amazon. One of the cheapest welders on the market and it welds beautifully. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.